Hi guys, so this is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and you are watching Ujjwal Kumar Sen YouTube channel. So guys, look at this guy. This guy secured 4th rank in GATE in 2014, right? 13. 13, right? So 4th rank. So today I will talk all the things and how you can able to do the same. I mean single digit rank in GATE. In maybe in 2021 maybe 2022 so all the things i will share with you today that's why you can get started with preparation and you are having time right so suraj over to you tell us something about yourself i mean your journey and all those things then we'll talk about preparation tips he will share right yeah okay i started my preparation when i was in third year in fifth semester then uh, initially i wanted to brush up my uh, skills on college studies so in fifth semester i uh, totally focused on college studies only but at the end of fifth semester I realized that college college studies are uh, a bit different from gate studies so from sixth semester onwards I started preparation for gate I bought all the previous year books of uh, gate examination IES examination and some related examination like coal India bark or RRB JE something like that so I uh, tried to gather all the questions which come in competitions all those questions I practiced and I studied from uh, I studied from all the books means uh, like for strength of material I studied from BC Punamiya Rama Murtham these books so uh, from uh, start I build all the concepts I tried to solve all the questions from uh, solved examples all those questions gave gave me concepts and then I started solving the previous year questions suppose I start a subject then I, first of all I I'll study that subject from the books then as soon as a topic gets completed I solve its previous year questions then after solving previous year questions I gain confidence confidence means I don't solve uh, I, I, I was not able to solve like 100% questions but I was able to solve 50 60 percent question at the start because at the start my practice was not that good enough to crack each and every question of gate so I accepted that I accepted 50 60 percent questions and then later on my accuracy increases to 70 80 percent in the third round it increases to 90 percent and when I was giving gate my accuracy was like nearly 95 percent okay. so this is how you improve slowly and steadily you should not accept that uh, you should not expect that uh, you will be getting 100 percent accuracy from very start this should not be expected so uh, this is the main thing so the next question is that i mean actually the question is about you <laughs> right so uh, where you belong to Uttarakhand? i belong to Uttarakhand. right Bodhikarpal. okay great so right now guys we are sitting in odisha and the university name is kit university, kit university right? yep. so yeah so guys he is teaching in this university now and he has been teaching from last five years after i think working in bpcl yeah I so the question is that you work for bpcl i have seen many people quit job after getting selected in PSUs they have started profession in teaching so why you have said because of money you have done this or because of profession or you like teaching mm. see uh, once uh, once you're in college your dream is to get in PSUs as as was my dream I wanted I always wanted to go in a PSU but when I reached PSU I was surrounded by people who were all successful so then my dream increased then my dream was even higher I wanted to do something which I love in uh, PSUs I was getting a package nearly 15 lakhs That's right. before 7th pay commission mm -hmm. right now it is nearly 18, 18, 20, 18 20 lakhs yes. so I knew that I'll be getting a huge money from BPCL but when I when you are surrounded by very high uh, highly successful people your mind gets opened you dream for something bigger and my dream was to uh, run a coaching institute or uh, to teach students and to guide students so that I can make my own name that is more important and our also here is very good so both of it is a like complete package you get earnings you get name you get each and everything and you love you are doing what you love this is most important so this is the uh, thing that I wanted to do but I could do this only because of the confidence got uh, which I got in BPCL if I uh, if, if I did not crack gate examination then I think I would not have got this much of confidence Right. So I mean, after taking the animation, you come to know that you must go for coaching industry. Yeah, my confidence increased, and then I said that no, this company uh, is very good, hmm. but I deserve something even better. Uh, I deserve something which I love, and that's, that is coaching. Okay, great. So uh, after seeing the result, did you accept you are going to get single digit rank in gate? Uh, see, uh, after uh, after writing the exam. Uh, after writing the exam, while writing the examination, I was confident that I'll get uh, somewhere in top hundred or top fifty. Mm -hmm. But I did not thought of uh, rank one or rank four, mm -hmm. uh, single digit rank. Mm -hmm. So 
um, I did not pressurize myself with those kind of thoughts. Hmm. I was always uh, happy to get anything in uh, double digits. So I knew that up to 200, 300 ranks, I will be getting PSUs. My only dream at that time was to get into PSUs. So I went there and I performed like how to get uh, in top 100 rank. So I performed that and when I um, was confident that I, I'm getting top 100 rank, then it gave me some feeling of relaxation during the examination. All right, great. So next, after seeing the result, you got four things. What one thing come in your mind? Okay, I, this has happened, right? What, what one thing? What was that thing? Uh, see, by the time the results were out, okay. were out. At that time, you I was. You have checked, or your someone, someone of your friend already? No, checked. no, I only checked. Okay. I have that video also. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I was checking before that, I I was confident that I'll be getting top mm -hmm. 10 rank mm -hmm. because by that time uh, many analysis mm -hmm. uh, have come. Mm -hmm. So they all were saying if you are getting 85 marks, you will be in top five. Mm -hmm. So I was confident. I was expecting means positively I was expecting rank one mm -hmm. but I did not get it I got rank four mm -hmm. but it was not a surprise at the time of uh, result. result yeah I was expecting it from last 10 days or something mm -hmm. great great how much marks you got in 2013 85.33 85.33 <laughs> <laughs> right. So, what are tips is sharing? Just look on these tips and work on these tips if you want to get something out of it, right? And one more thing, suppose that average student, right, mm -hmm. wanted to go for gate because, you know, there are a lot of students, there, there are a lot of colleges who are having zero placement. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they are providing placement to IT sector and that many students don't want to go through that sector, right? So, what suggestion you want to give to them? How should that start? They would, uh, will they get coaching <coughs> online or offline? What they should do first, uh, according see, to you? Uh, see, uh, even I was a very below average student before gate examination. Um, I, I means during my whole studies, during my whole career, I have failed three times in class sixth, I, in class eighth, and in class eleventh. When I gave a triple examination at my time it was a triple and iitj both examinations that, there. That. i did not give iitj i gave uh, a triple examination a triple i got 3 lakh 33000 something rank so that was my performance at 11 12th level hmm. but when i came into this college and uh, this was my last time to prove myself because after college you will you will be getting a job and if you get stuck in a company which pays you very less amount like tcs like accenture which pays you very less like 3 3 lakh per annum salary you cannot improve from that point once you get into that rat race you cannot escape that so my last uh, my last uh, chance to get into something big really big was gate only so from third year I made a decision that this is this is my year so from third year you did self-study or you I did self-study total what patient based what on patient based on self-study I, okay. uh, I made a group of four students mm -hmm. and all of us uh, got very great ranks myself got fourth rank my roommate who was uh, who has spent four years with me he got mm -hmm. 23rd rank mm -hmm. uh, two other persons gave uh, got 140 and 240 ranks. Mm -hmm. That means you got four rank only, right? Yeah. Single digit. Okay, great. So one more thing: importance of solving previous year questions for get examination. It is the only thing that I solved. I studied from previous. I, I studied from standard books, and after studying, suppose you have, if you are doing some coaching of, or you, if you have taken some course, you are, you will be getting theoretical knowledge from there but after that the only thing that you should practice is previous year questions previous year questions of gate previous year questions of ies previous year questions of related examinations like maybe you can solve ias examination questions also mechanical paper upsc questions mm -hmm. or you can solve rrb je questions solve only previous year questions of different competitive examinations because after you, clearing basic concepts after clearing basic concepts so what should the procedure for solving previous year question according to you what is the what is the way must implement by students because whenever you start solving gate based question definitely will be stuck in every question huh. then you will look into solution i have huh. seen many students huh. do this right so according to what what should the approach according to you uh, see at first i take a topic like in thermodynamics i have taken first law of thermodynamics i've I studied first law of thermodynamics from book or from notes from anywhere and then i'll solve i'll try to solve previous year questions suppose there are 100 percent questions out of 100 percent question i'll be solving 50 percent 60% which are easier to moderate level questions because at start my uh, my concepts are not that really strong so I'll be solving 60% question but I knew that that uh, my expectation for myself at the start of the preparation is only 60% we should not 
ओवर बर्डन अवर सेल्फ बाई एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट और नाइन्टी परसेंट बिकॉज दैट इज द थिंग दैट टॉपर्स गेट आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स आफ्टर रेगुलर प्रिपरेशन देल बी एबल टू सॉल्व नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन और हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो वी शुड नॉट ओवर बर्डन अवर सेल्फ एट स्टार्ट वी शुड बी इजी विद अवर सेल्फ फिफ्टी परसेंट सिक्सटी परसेंट इज अ वेरी गुड नंबर इफ यू आर सॉल्विंग दिस मज क्वेश्चन दिस इज वेरी गुड रेस्ट क्वेश्चन यू शुड आइदर सी सोल्यूशन एट द बैक ऑफ द बुक और यू शुड गो to the uh, to the related real, uh, similar type of questions from standard books suppose i was not able to solve a question on heat and fog so i'll what i'll do i'll go in the book again i'll try to solve similar questions five to six questions on heat and fog and again from after building my concept i'll come back again to that question of previous year and i'll try to solve that again if i'm able to solve that again that that is very good that i've learned but if on the second attempt also i am not able to solve that that this means that it is very high level question so i leave it for later or maybe three months four months later i'll come back to it one more thing hmm. have you written any test series online test series see at that time the test series were offline hmm. not online that's right so our seniors were there our senior from uh, we have taken from our seniors each and every offline paper that they, they have given suppose someone has joined gate forum or someone has joined mm-hmm. medisi mm-hmm. so they have 12 to 15 tests mm-hmm. so uh, we have taken 15 tests from one of the senior 15 tests from some other mm-hmm. senior mm-hmm. so we have got nearly 60 to 70 tests mm-hmm. so i have given all the test series but i did not join any of them but this does not mean that i did not give uh, examination that's i right. gave all the examination nearly 60 to 70 full length tests actually guys i'm telling you he is going to provide a question for our online test series if you want to get it you can get it from the description as well as in the first comment right and very soon he is going to do something we're going to do something right very soon we are going to uh, provide you something special just stay connected you will get all the information right and one more thing uh suppose that in a student is under confidence regarding the examination because whenever you will go for the question even especially after writing first test series online you will feel this is not for you so at that time what you should do according to you uh when i started my preparation in third year only i gave my first flt first full length test at that time my preparation was only of three subjects only after completing three subjects i started to give flts in the first flt i got nearly 15 to 16 marks in second flt i got 20 21 so slowly the marks increases at start the marks increases a bit speedily a bit quickly so uh, from uh, 20 marks to reach 40 marks it is very easy you will be uh, reaching there in 10 tests but after that from 40 to 60 it will take around an, another 20 to 30 tests and from reach 60 to 80 it will take another 30 to 40 tests so the improvement becomes more difficult and difficult as you your marks are increasing the chance of improvement is very less so at start if you are getting less marks you should be motivated to do do, do better because everyone starts from very less marks my starting was nearly 16 to 17 marks so you should never get demotivated try to give as many tests as possible and try to understand the uh, learnings try to understand the failures the mistakes that you have done try to note down them in a separate diary or separate notebook notebook named um, mistakes notebooks so like silly mistakes or conceptual mistakes any kind of mistakes you can note down note, note down them there as importance of short notes for revision <laughs> it is uh, the most important thing see uh, revision is very very important even if you are not studying a new subject or a new topic or a new chapter you must revise every week each and everything that you have studied till now see uh, if i have studied four subjects till now suppose if i have studied four subjects till now then the first thing that i'll do i'll revise these four subjects and then only i'll go to the fifth subject after completing the fifth subject i'll revise the first five subjects then only i'll go to the sixth subjects so revision is more important than studying new subjects revision is the only thing that you should do if you are having less time see and if you are having less time then it becomes more important to have short notes to revise each and everything in a quick time so short notes are very very important okay uh, what are five most important tips you wanted to give to fourth year students those are going to appear in 2000 just after one year right? okay okay in 2021 yes. see if you are you are having a good preparation at this level then you must give gate 2020 paper it is 
available online give get 2020 paper download it and make an environment for yourself where you can sit for three hours you can be dedicated for three hours no one will disturb you and but give that paper I mean, okay, no right, for, right, that paper, right. for that paper for that paper and try to understand how many marks you are getting and based on that check your level as per the standards of all over india see in my first attempt when i gave my first attempt means uh, by downloading paper mm -hmm. gate 2013 was my first attempt but in gate 2012 when the paper came online i downloaded it and i gave it i gave it and i nearly got 58 marks which was around 1000 rank at that time so it was very uh, enthusiastic for me it was very motivating for me that i am getting 1000 rank after studying merely to, for uh, 2 to 3 months so i thought that if i can get 2 to 3 uh, 1000 rank within 2 to 3 months then i can surely be in top 100 next year because i have one more year so this year's preparation this year's gate paper is very important if you are prepared well but if you are starting right now then the first thing you should do is to study a single subject then solve its previous year paper after solving previous year papers make a short notes don't make short notes before solving previous year papers because in short notes you should only write very important things which are required to solve question papers which are required to solve conceptual questions or questions which are coming in gate examination so after studying the theory you will be getting like you will be uh, reading 100% of the material given in the book but after solving previous year questions you will be analyzing that this 30% is very important this 30% is uh, lightly important and the rest 40% is negligence negligible so in that order you should write your short notes you should write each and everything about the very important topics some uh, lesser things about the less important topics and you can neglect the uh, topics which are not coming in gate examination so after uh, completing the previous year questions only then you should make the short notes yeah so guys i hope you like this video right we have to make it um, stop here because it's in little long and i we appreciate your presence thank you very much for watching and if you're uh, new to the channel subscribe to the channel click on the like button and definitely share with your friends and the secrets they share with us it's amazing right let us know through in the comment box and uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye see you soon bye